Hey everyone, it's Crystal Stars here. And today we'll be reviewing two compact strollers. Their similarities, their differences, pros, cons, and then my personal opinion on each one. So I hope you guys enjoy this review. Okay, so I figured we'd start with the wheels. Um, to my left, which is your right, this is the Baby Jogger City Mini Tour 2. And this one is the Bugaboo Butterfly. I have this one in the gray color and this one in the green color as you can tell but before we start with canopies we're actually going to go down and talk about the wheels <laughs> the baby jogger city mini tour 2 has six oh my god the city tour 2 has four six inch wheels while the bugaboo butterfly has two six inch wheels in the back and two four and a half inch wheels in the front you may think that it would mess up the ride having tiny wheels but the Butterfly actually has four wheel suspension to help with the bumps. And the City Tour 2 doesn't have suspension, but to be honest, both of the rides feel similar. The City Tour 2 has a basket weight limit of 15 pounds, which is a pretty nice diaper bag, while the Butterfly has a basket weight limit of 17 pounds. Um, honestly, not gonna make too much of a difference. You're not gonna get a huge diaper bag under there. These baskets are not that huge but they are they're they're pretty good you know definitely pretty good both of these strollers have really cute foot rests um, they are both movable so that's really helpful when you have a smaller baby so with the city tour 2 there's just a little handle that you bring up and it does that which is very nice same thing when you want to bring it down you just squeeze the little handle underneath and it goes down the butterfly has a footrest as well but it's a little bit more complicated not complicated but just harder there's two little white buttons here on the sides one here and one on the other side and you squeeze them together and you can bring it forward so you can have it at any position that you need it for um, if you keep the footrest out as well when you fold it it also serves as a second handle to carry the stroller so that's pretty interesting uh, both stroller seats are very roomy for the child. However, the Tour 2 has a 15 inch seat back, while the Butterfly has a 22 inch seat back, which is amazing. My daughter just outgrew this one and still has a little bit of room to grow in this one, which I love. Both of these strollers have a five point safety harness in their seats. However, as you can see, <laughs> I took out the top straps because my daughter doesn't like anything crossing her shoulders. So I just have the ones that wrap around your waist. And then for this one, because it's brand new um, and I don't know how to take the straps out yet, this has all five, but um, what I do for her is I just strap them under her armpits instead of over her shoulders. And both of them are the same thing. You just connect all the little pieces to the main part in the middle. Um, same thing here. There's one. And there's two. And both of them, you just press the little button in the middle and it instantly releases the seat belts. Something I love about the City Tour 2 is the recline on the seat. So it has a strap recline. So if you come down here, there's a little buckle system here in the back. You just squeeze and pull down and the seat goes very far back see near flat recline which means a newborn could come into the seat if you wanted i would personally use a bassinet but you could put a newborn in here and the butterfly is a little bit more complicated and less complicated at the same time you have a button right here on the canopy you unhook the button and then there's a little white lever underneath the seat that you pull up and bring down. And the seat, if you can see, it goes not as far as the Tour 2, but it's still sufficient enough for a nap if you need your toddler to take a nap. It's just not as deep of a recline as I would like it. Handlebars are about 40 inches from the ground to where I place my hands. Um, the only difference is that the butterfly has a runaway safety strap attached to its handle 
which honestly you probably don't need, but it's a nice little extra safety feature to have when you're pushing your stroller. Sticking to the handlebars, this is also where you'll find the locking mechanisms for both strollers. So I will show you one by one what they look like because they honestly both fold down to a similarly sized package. They fold like in a tri-fold situation. Um, so we'll show you how that looks. Um, so for the City Tour 2, there are these two uh, gray or white buttons, um, the one right here and there's one under here and you sort of push them together so use your thumb for the top one and your other four fingers for the bottom and you squeeze and i kind of just pull it in to each other uh, see and this it doesn't stand on its own unfortunately um, it does have a little handle in the seat that you hold it with and it does have a safety lock which is not engaged right now for some reason but it normally does right here and when it uh, honestly guys this stroller for me is two years old and it's been used and abused so it's not pretty and it's not at its best capacity but it's tried and true and really a favorite of mine just kind of springs open like that <laughs> and when it opens the canopy always opens up with it um, so that's how to open and close the tour too this is the bugaboo butterfly it's fold so again there are two buttons so one down here white button and sort of can't see it there's another one right here so there's two um, and the same thing, you squeeze them both together. And I'm pretty sure you've heard everyone say this, but if it's white on a bugaboo, it has a function. So always remember, I usually put my thumb on the first button first and then my four fingers on the other button. And same thing, you squeeze and you kind of bring it down. Um, I don't know if it's because it's new or because it's metal, but it's a little bit harder to get to push it, you know, to open and close it. It says one handed fold, but you, you really need to. This one stands on its own, which is super nice. Um, and it's very small. And it also has um, a carrying strap somewhere in this basket. Here we go. So that you can throw this one over your shoulder. I don't imagine you doing this for anything other than taking it on and off subway, airplane, or whatever, because it's bulky and it's a little bit heavier. This, this stroller weighs 16 pounds while the Tour 2 weighs 14 pounds. Not a huge difference in the grand scheme of things, but just so you know. Okay, and the same thing. Just flick it on open. Woo, it's a little bit of a workout. Both of these canopies are UPF 50. Um, I don't actually know if that generally means anything, but that's they say it gives you that sun protection. So this canopy, um, it's pretty good. It wasn't as good when she was smaller and you can't move the canopy up and down because as you can see it's kind of attached to the whole like handles of the stroller frame and everything so you can't move it but really nice and it has a little velcro peekaboo window right at the top here and you can just roll up this fabric and have a clear little window for your baby. Um, if you also wanted to remove the back fabric, that, this back fabric here that connects, you can remove that for extra air ventilation while your baby is sleeping. I don't recommend that though because it just distracts them from their nap and um, you know it's noisy because it's Velcro. So you definitely might not want to do that. Then we have the butterflies canopy, which I have it open at its like most extended which is why it may look bigger than this one. It probably is. Um, but when it's not at its ex full extension, it's actually about like this, which is fine. But I like to keep it open fully. Um, not everybody's going to like this. There's no peekaboo window, but there's a peekaboo canopy panel. Uh, and it's good. I love being able to see her. But, you know, it's not going to be the best at sun coverage, especially like when the sun's directly overhead. 
so maybe counterintuitive, but I really like this. I think it's very nice. So one thing that I like about the Bugaboo Butterfly is that this, uh, this is removable, like the seat pad, it's removable. It's on the stroller with Velcro tabs that are all around it. So inevitably when it gets dirty, I'll just be able to throw the seat pad into the wash or take it to dry cleaning and it'll be fine. Um, my tour is not um, like that. I've looked up videos on how to remove all the fabrics. It's a process, it requires a screwdriver. Um, and even with three washing machine washes, it still looks very, very used, very loved. <laughs> um, so that's something that I really appreciate from the butterfly. And honestly, the butterfly is from Bugaboo, so it's gonna have some extra stuff. The Bugaboo butterfly can be purchased for $4.29, and in it, you can also get a rain cover. Um, but honestly, that's, that's about it. With the Tour 2, it's, it, the price is always changing for the Tour 2. You can either get it, I've seen it at $2.29, I've seen it on Amazon sometimes for $1.69. Honestly, catch a sale. Not that it's not worth the $2.29, but if you can get it for $1.69, that's, that's a hell of a deal for this. It's amazing. None of them come with cup holders. None of them come with bumper bars. Those are both separate purchases for $40 and $30. $40 for this bumper bar, $30 for this bumper bar. Um, the Butterfly, like I said, comes with a rain cover and the Tour 2 comes with a travel bag. So when you take it on the airplanes, it's just like a black sort of like windbreaker feeling bag that you can put it into which I guess would be definitely helpful to stop it from getting dirty. But any extra, any extra accessories you have to purchase and they're both, they're all kind of pricey, you know, on top of everything else. But in general, these are really, really amazing strollers. Um, I am six feet tall. The handlebars are just enough for me. I wish they were both a little taller or had telescoping, you know, compatibility or something or I could make them an inch or two taller. My husband, who's 5'5", has no problem with them. Um, the only thing I would say is that even with the suspension on the Butterfly, it still gets stuck in a lot more cracks than the City Tour 2 does, and that's because, you know, inch and a half bigger wheels. And wheels may not seem like a big deal to you, but it totally is when you're in New York City or San Francisco or Boston or anywhere where there's hills and bumps and cracks and you know things that are going to jostle your baby so I would say watch this review watch the million more that I know you're going to watch and just make your choice wisely and you know you don't have to choose one because I didn't thanks for watching guys bye Ready? yep Button on the handle, this too. Oh, that one was a lot easier for you. That wasn't funny at all. <laughs>
Ich bin's. <lacht>